And we'll tee up the brand new musical from the Cote St. Luke Dramatic Society. Still ahead on Focus Montreal, the Cote St. Luke Dramatic Society launches its fifth season, coming full circle with Broadway's Back, a musical featuring highlights of their best shows. You're watching some of the highlights of Broadway's Back, a musical review from the Cote St. Luke Dramatic Society. Fifty performers will return to the stage to bring the review to life as they celebrate nine shows from the past four years and launch their incredible fifth season. And joining me now, the producer of Broadway's Back, Cote St. Luke City Councilor Mitchell Brownstein on the end. And one of the stars of the show, actor Sam Stein, who plays, now I don't even know how to say this, Teve? Tevye. Tevye. <laughs> in Fiddler in the Roof. There you go. Welcome to both of you. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Us. Thanks for coming in. Mitch, I love it getting your emails because this is a four years of this Code St. Luke Dramatic Society and you've got a lot planned for this fifth season, right? Absolutely. We never expected it to evolve to this level. The last four and a half years have been amazing with the support of our mayor who's now elected to the, to the uh, yes. member of parliament. Yes, that's right. Anthony, Anthony. House Father. Yeah. It was a vision of his to allow each councillor to pursue their passion, and I always love theater, so we started a theater company in Cote St. Luke four and a half years ago. We feel that it's mm -hmm. as important as sports in a, in a community in order to develop character and provide something great for people who want to participate, as well as for audiences. Yeah. And every show has been a great success, with audiences coming in large numbers. Yeah, One of your big, big shows with Fiddler on the Roof, and yes. here's the star of the show. <laughs> Tell you. me what it's meant to you to have this venue to perform in. I've yeah. been performing in, in theater in the Montreal area for over 50 years. And the experience I had with the Cote St. Luke Dramatic Society playing Tevye, the lead role in Fiddler on the Roof, was a major highlight. I had done it earlier, 10 years earlier, with the Dora Wasserman Yiddish Theater in Yiddish. So to be able to do it twice, once in Yiddish and once in English, first of all, just that was astounding. But the reception that we got from the Cote St. Luke community was just over the top. Mm. A lot of the people who came to see the show afterwards came backstage and to talk to me and they said they were just blown away. They had no expectation of the quality that they were going to see on that stage from their, their friends and neighbors on the street, from the people who volunteered to do this. It's amazing. And it, to, to, as a tr testament to the quality of these shows, Mitch, you won a big award this week, right? From we, yes. we won the Montreal English Theatre Award for Outstanding Community Theatre Production, and it was the only musical that won this year at the Metas. And it's really thanks to artistic director Anissa Cameron. She's brilliant. She's brilliant in terms of the quality of the theatre. Yeah, there, there's uh, Anissa there, right? In the absolutely, picture seeing, that's yeah. Anissa. She's amazing. And and she doesn't only yes. create amazing quality theater, but she builds a community. Mm -hmm. She's artistic director at Bialik High School, mm -hmm. at the Cote St. Luke Dramatic Society, and she will be directing the Dora Wasserman Yiddish Theater production in association with the Cote St. Luke Dramatic Society, The Producers. Uh, so we're very proud of her. Featuring Sam? Are you involved? Oh, it I'm hasn't not been casted okay. yet. Oh, it hasn't been cast. The official cast list hasn't come out yet. Mm -hmm. But, but you're great, hoping. I have great hopes. You have great hopes. <laughs> you, you've tried out for it, obviously. Yes. Tell yes. me about this uh, Broadway's Back. So this is bringing, we just saw a group picture there. It looks like there's such great energy in your cast members. And this yes. is bringing everybody together, right? It is. It's, it's like a reunion for all the members of all the cast. And the uh, Meta Award winning cast of Hairspray will be performing some numbers. And then after that, we're going to be remounting Hairspray at the Centre Theatre in January. I heard that. I saw that in your yes. program. That is that a first for you guys going on it's stage? The first time going to the Centaur Theatre, we remounted Catch Me If You Can, which was nominated for a meta last year at the Siegel Centre. So uh, that's very exciting and if anybody's missed any of our shows, this is a great chance for them to see a little bit from the shows they missed or yeah. see of their fa favorite numbers once again. Tell me about when everybody gets together like that, Sam, the cast members. How, how, it must be a great team building as well, right? A well, great it's fantastic. Uh, Anissa put together a huge group of people from all walks of life. Uh, and it was, what was amazing to me was that everybody could come together, find a commonality in the theater, mm. and uh, associate freely with, the, with uh, each other. It was, it was wonderful. And you've mentioned a couple of the plays coming up in this season already, the big staging. Uh, but you also have this Grannies show, and I, I'd love to talk about that because that's community-oriented. <laughs> well, it, it's very important. That's why we put on a, a seniors workshop project this summer called Granny, mm -hmm. and it was directed 
by Ari Sterling, who's a student, and Brandon Schwartz, who's one of our lead actors yeah, from Catch yeah. Me If You Can. He was the musical director, and it brought seniors and youth together working on a fantastic project. Mm -hmm. And we're going to do it again next summer with another show. It was a great success. We thought we'd have three shows. We ended up having five, and around 700 people came out to see it. Terrific. Yeah. Thank you both so much for coming in to talk oh, about it. Our pleasure. We're going to encourage people to go out to Broadway's Back. It runs November 4th to the 8th at the Cote St. Luke Aquatic and Community Center. Tickets available at the door. You can get more information. You see the website there at csldramaticsociety.com. And thanks, guys. Coming up on Focus Montreal, the truth about processed meats, why experts are calling the WHO report alarmist.